Today I am going to extract citric acid from lemons. To begin I slice up and juice a few. After I've juiced all my lemons, I pour the juice into a 1000 milliliter beaker. A 10% sodium hydroxide solution is added to neutralize the excess acid. Next, I pass the solution through a coffee filter to remove any lemon debris. After it's all filtered off, I transfer my juice to another beaker and add additional 10% hydroxide until I reach a pH of 9. pH 9 is indicated by the solution shifting color to a deep orange. At this point, the citric acid from the lemons has been converted to sodium citrate. Now I add a strong calcium chloride solution, which will convert soluble sodium citrate to insoluble calcium citrate. There's no way to add too much, so go crazy. Next, I give the calcium citrate an hour to begin to settle out of solution. To isolate my calcium citrate, I use vacuum filtration. It was at this point I realized a vacuum is required for vacuum filtration. Much better, but still slow compared to most inorganics. I will note here that a cold water rinse of the filtered calcium citrate would have made future steps much cleaner. I didn't do one so this is for anyone who cares to try this. Discard the filtrant, you don't need it. Next I transfer my filtered calcium citrate to a fresh beaker. This I add a very dilute solution of 15% sulfuric acid. This will react with the calcium citrate to reform citric acid and precipitate white calcium sulfate. Calcium sulfate is also called gypsum and can be useful. I again vacuum filter this solution, but this time I will be keeping the filtrant and discarding the filtered out gypsum. The resulting solution is added to a dish and cooked down to 10% of the initial volume. The resulting solution is placed in the freezer to form citric acid crystals. Last I add my crystallized citric acid to a small filter and pull a vacuum. This is rinsed several times with ice cold water to clean the crystals. I also did a recrystallization of crude acid off camera to keep the video short. It's unnecessary but it forms larger crystals. After scooping it out I am left with this highly pure disc of citric acid. The final yield was far larger than this, but it was done in batches, and I don't want to force you to watch them all. As always, follow for more.